Hello everybody, welcome back to another Trailmakers tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to build a very simple Harrier jump jet that has VTOL capabilities. And if you don't know what VTOL means, it means vertical takeoff and landing. Alright, so let's get building. Alright, so very similar to the uh, jet tutorial, we're going to just do a very simple jet shape. Uh, what we want to do is, I'm going to go for the same nose shape, but you guys don't have to. So I'm going to grab this corner piece here, do that, and then just rotate that around. And then we just want to grab our cone pieces. There we go. And there we have a very simple nose shape, which I'm very happy about. Now we need to consider the weight distribution and where we want to put our gimbals. Yes, that is correct. We're going to be using gimbal jets to make this into a VTOL. So what I want to do, I'm just going to duplicate all these uh, grid blocks. And the reason I'm using grid blocks, guys, is because the grid blocks are actually lighter than the normal blocks. I'm just going to leave those there for placeholders for now. I'm going to grab my mini thrusters. And then all I'm going to do, guys, is just do this. And then I just want a few like so. Uh, and then we just want to start connecting everything using the rounded oh that's too big this one the one by two rounded so i'm just gonna go for a nice shape like this just for the main fuselage of the plane and now i want to figure out where i want to put these gimbal jets so what we can actually do is delete some and now i'm thinking my plane's gonna be heavier at the rear since i am planning on adding a dragon engine so I'm just going to delete these here and then now we can insert our gimbal jet. So I'm going to grab one of these. There we go and just copy them across like that. And now we have our gimbal jet. Yeah, so, okay. So we are, it is a bit heavy at the front though, but I am going to be adding a heavy dragon jet. And then we also have our main propulsion. Okay, cool. All right, so now I want to add myself the dragon jet so i'm going to stick that on the back here let's just do it like so and then let's actually start on our tail so i'm going to bring these back like so and then i'm going to grab this two by one rounded because i want the bottom of the aircraft to be a very similar shape to the top so what we can do there is actually grab all these and then put them down below now we can start rounding off our shape here, which is cool. I'm going to add these 2x4s just to cover the bottom. Because it's a VTOL, we actually want to have control over our yaw. So what I'm going to do, guys, is delete these mini thrusters in the middle here. Put two blocks right here, like so. We actually want to grab our helicopter engine. So if I put the helicopter engine here at the bottom, and I'm just going to configure them really quickly. Alright, so everything's configured. Now I should be able to lift off like this. And then, using that helicopter engine, I'll be able to control and rotate the aircraft on the yaw axis. So that's awesome. Now we just need to add the tail and wings. So I'm going to grab myself the um, small modular wing here. And I can actually utilize this space that I left. And then we want to grab uh, the big modular wing. And very similar to the last jet, guys, we're going to do similar wings. So I'm going to do this. And then we want to start shaping out the wings with some wedges. So I'm going to grab this wedge here. Yep, I'm starting to think this looks very good like this. We can finish off the shape with just two of these 1x2s on the edge of the wings there. Alright, I'm pretty impressed with that. Alright, so now here's where things get interesting. I'm actually going to make a custom intake using the speed sensor. I'm not actually going to use the speed sensor for any logic reasons. The only part I want is this here this little intake that it comes with it's very great for your design so if we just copy that across like so and then do the same on the other side we have a nice looking intake all that's left to do is fill in these gaps here with some more blocks and then i'm gonna grab myself the three by one 
and stick it on the tops of the wings there. And yes, I'm very happy with that shape. Okay, so now what we need to do is make sure these wings can control. So we actually have our roll function. So I'm going to stick these hinges like this, and then I'm going to utilize the flat connectors. These are the most handiest blocks in Trail Makers. So I just want to connect them to the wings like that, and then we can see where we connect them. We don't have much choice, so we might need to grab the 1x3 connector and stick them like that. So it's connected to the hinge, and then this connector block on the wing here. So if we give that a test, we should have our roll. Yes, we do. All right, guys, so now we need to make our tail. So I'm going to grab myself another steering hinge. And then I'm going to stick it on the build like so, on each side. And then we just want to take a wedge piece. We're going to go for the 1 by 3 And then we're just going to slap them on the ends of the hinges. There we go. Grab yourself the simple tail fin, and then all you want to do is connect them onto the wedges like this. Making sure that it's not connected like this. It is connected like this, so there's no connection to the actual plane, so the hinge can move freely. Alright, after some proper configuration, it should look something like this. So what I'm going to do, guys, is going to slap on the tail fin. I'm just going to stick it on the top of the dragon engine like so. And then all I want to do is smooth out the bottom segment here. So we're actually going to replace this 2x4. I'm going to grab myself two 1x3s. And then I'm going to copy this block here, this wedge. And then I'm just going to drag it like so. Now we have a more smoothed out shape for the back of the plane here. Alright, so another handy trick is utilizing the logic blocks again. Because one side of the block is actually a smooth side. You can connect it like so, so this modular wing won't be connected to this 1x2 logic block here. So that means we can start making very nice shapes and not worrying about our build not being able to function correctly. So I'm just going to add these two wedges here. And the reason I left the top of the plane like this exposed, I was actually thinking two steps ahead. And I'm actually going to utilize the 2x4 shield pieces. And everything should connect nicely like so, which looks very nice. All we got to do now is test, guys. So the VTOL is working. However, it's actually very heavy at the back. And how I can fix that is if I go into the gimbal jet here, go into the configuration, and lower the power. So we're going to go for 0.70. And then let's test our VTOL. And wow, yes, it's perfectly balanced. Awesome. So now, guys, when I press A, I have my VTOL mode on. Now, you guys can decide whether you want the VTOL to be a toggle. Personally, I just want to hold down the keybind to activate the VTOL. And then my yaw controls the direction I want to go. And then let's test our flying. So right now my VTOL is still on for that extra lift and now I let go of the VTOL mode. The gimbal jets should stop working and yes we fly very smoothly. Awesome. Alright guys, I'm happy with this build. All that's left to do is give it a nice paint job and add some decals. Alright guys, here we have our paint job and decal work. So I'll just show you really quickly, I've gone for this nice green. And then underneath, I've gone for a textured darker green. And I just think it looks very nice, very simple. I added a number three on the side there. And if you can't tell, I added some transparent shield pieces on the wings to add those Trailmakers logos. Personally, I am very happy with this build. It came out great, and it was relatively easy to put together. And guys, if you're using these builds, feel free to do anything you want to these builds. Um, like, you know, use your imagination, add some weapons, add, add some cool funky parts and some neat features. And, you know, make this thing your own. But anyway, guys, this has been making a Harrier Jump Jet. I hope you guys liked the tutorial. And if you want to see more like this one, subscribe down below. Leave a comment of what tutorials you want to see next. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.